What's going on, Triad Hip Hop Podcast family? It's your man, Kurt. And um, today I'm bringing you another lyrical breakdown in the spirit of the holidays. Yes, sir. We're going to keep it Christmas. We're going to keep it a little dark Christmas. This is... You ready for it? Are you ready for it? You probably saw it in the title already. It's Run the Jewels. <laughs> a Christmas fucking miracle. That's right. That's what it's called. A Christmas fucking miracle. And um, this is one of my favorites. You know, I love Run the Jewels. Pretty much anything that they do, I'm always into. So, you know, uh, just, just to stay with, you know, the title, since it got the Christmas theme to it. Uh, they had a video for it. It's from years back, but, you know, it's a dope song. Give you that boom bap. I'm going to do um, Killer Mike's verse. And, um, you know, LP got a dope verse on it, too. But Killer Mike uh, was my favorite on this song. And, um, you know, yeah, we're just going to cover that verse. Uh, his first verse. Um, I think they do a third verse together. I can't remember. Um it's been a few days since I listened to it, but I'm doing Killer Mike's full verse, and uh, we're going to go ahead and let y'all hear it so you can kind of get a feel for the song, and then I'm going to come back and, uh, you know, go through bar for bar and give these dudes their flowers, man. They're much-deserved flowers. So, without further ado, it's a Christmas fucking miracle. Yeah. The beat breaks and your teeth break Keep your canines embedded in my knuckles as a keepsake It was seen your veneers, just mere souvenirs Falling out your mouth and on to the landscape Me and LP do the secret handshake Then I pummel punch a pumpkin head punk In his pimple face till he punch drunk Cause he's sweet as a pound cake And he pussy my ear, L, I'll say Into the wild, wild style, ghetto child running wild Where the lions in the aisle stay The powers to be even off of the reprise Told us they'll take us out if we bow to our knees But they can give that to the kings and the queens and the Worship with the idols and followers of things Cause I would rather be in the jungle with the savages It's killer be kill and I'm working with the average My professor emeritus say we've been cursed being brought to the Americas How you raise a whole human single parent No marriages, no sense of heritage Planned Parenthood helping plan miscarriages But I'm lucky mommy already had a narrative Product of a teenage love My arrogance derives from the pride in the job my parents did Name Mike, I was told it was godlike Even dance with the devil came out alright Okay, honor y'all, no way Still spell America with the triple K Word up the spice, one at O'Shea And in the MC, kicking what I go through Real rap, my last line so true Rest in peace to Pimp C and Kamutu Okay, okay, okay As you heard, you know what I mean? The boom bap is in full effect It's a Christmas fucking miracle so let's go ahead and jump into Killer Mike's, uh, you know, uh, 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 bars here. So my man starts off, first of all, the beat is, is dope as fuck, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, it's a throwback to just real 90s boom bap hip hop. So um, the beat, he said, uh, the beat breaks and your teeth break. Keep your canines embedded in my knuckles as a keepsake. You know what I mean? So for one, the wordplay starting off is dope as hell, you know what I mean? Killer Mike is always really dope with the wordplay and the flow. So, you know, I like how he started off talking about the beat break because that's a big important part of hip hop culture. You know what I mean? Break beats, you know, were what kind of really uh, were the launch pad for hip hop music <clears throat> and dancing as well. But, um, you know, it, it, it highlighted the DJ, it highlighted the dancing, and it highlighted the rapping because it was the perfect time to bust a rhyme, you know what I mean, no no rhyme intended there, but you know, that's how we do, anyway, then he said, um, it would seem your veneers, just mere souvenirs, falling out your mouth and onto the landscape, me and LP do the secret handshake, then I pump punch a pumpkin head punk in his simple, I'm sorry, in his pimple face, then he said, till he's punch drunk cause he's sweet as a pound cake, any pussy might, yeah, L, I'll say. So, you know, they, they got a little bit of, you know, ad lib in there from uh, LP coming in. And, you know, the, the bars are still dope as hell. You know what I mean? It's like the flow is just incredible on this one. This is my favorite part of this is um, Killer Mike's flow. So uh, let me go back through that real quick. 
He said, it would seem your veneers, just mere souvenirs, falling out your mouth and onto the landscape. Me and LP do the secret handshake. Then I punk punch a pumpkin head punk in his pimple face till he's punch drunk because he's sweet as a pound cake. And then LP said, ain't he pussy Mike? And Mike said, yeah, L, I'll say. And then he said, into the wild, wild style, ghetto child, running wild, where the lions and the owls stay. The powers that be even offered up reprieves, told us they ain't take us out if we bow our, to our knees. I'm saying, I'm saying that kind of whack, but you know, you get the picture. I'll go back over it real quick. The powers that be even offered up reprieves, told us they ain't take us out if we bow to our knees. But they can give that to the kings and the queens and the worshippers of idols and followers of things. Because I would rather be in the jungle with the savages is kill or be killed. And I'm working with the averages. You know what I mean? Working with the averages, that's right. That's dope right there. You know what I mean? I believe he's giving a reference to what is known as the law of averages. You know what I mean? Which, you know what I mean, talks about how things work in the favor based on the way the averages swing you know what i mean so you know if if the percentage of the averages is 60 percent that something is going to happen or more you know something like that you know that means it's probably going to happen you know what i mean whether that be the good thing or the bad thing you know law of averages anyway he said my my professor emeritus say we've been cursed being brought to the americas how you raise a whole human single parent no marriages, no sense of heritage. You see what I'm saying? And that, you know, I don't mean to keep cutting in, but you know, for one, that's a dope bar. But that's he he giving you he giving you some jewels right now, man. You know what I mean? This is a real Christmas gift right here because he's trying to make you think. You know what I mean? He said, um, how you raise a whole human single parent, no marriages, no sense of heritage. And he's talking about, you know, how black people were brought here uh, uh, from other places, even though, yes, there were black people here before. But, you know, the slave trade brought a lot more black people here. And, you know, they, they basically brainwashed us and converted us uh, subconsciously to their ways. You know what I mean? We didn't get to keep our own heritage. We didn't get to perform our own marriages. You know what I mean? So that's why he said, how you raise a whole human, single parent, no marriages, no sense of heritage. You know what I mean? Then he said, Planned Parenthood helping plan miscarriages, but I'm lucky mommy already had a narrative. You know what I mean? So he basically saying, you know, Planned Parenthood out here, you know, helping people have abortions. But luckily my mother, his mother, had a different plan. You know what I mean? So, you know, Planned Parenthood, you know what I mean? I, I'm... You know, that's a whole nother thing. You know what I mean? I don't want to get too much into that, but I will say, you know, I'm not pro-abortion. You know what I mean? That's my personal view. But I am pro-choice because people have the right to make their own choices. You know what I mean? People want to have an abortion, that's their business. Who the fuck are we to tell them not to? You know what I mean? All we can do is represent what we believe in, and that's it. So leave it right there. All right, so then he said, um, product of a teenage love, my arrogance derives from the pride in my job my parents did. Name Mike, I was told it was godlike. Even Dance with the Devil came out, right? Came out all right. Okay, honor y'all, no way. Still spell America with the triple K. Word up, Spice One and O'Shea. You know what I mean? O'Shea mean Ice Cube. Uh, Cause yeah, Ice Cube and uh, 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 Spice One, you know, they was letting you know back in the day, you know, that America that that got to have that triple K, in it, you know what I mean? We know, we all know. Anyway, um, and any MC peeping what I go through, real rap, my last line so true. And here's the last line: Rest in peace, Pimp C and Camu too. We did it for you. You know what I mean? So. You know, Killer Mike is just representing right there like he always does, man. And so the flow on that song is tremendous. It's 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 
10 out of 10, you know what I mean? The bars, 10 out of 10, you know what I mean? I got to give him a lot of credit for that because the more you listen to Killer Mike flow, he always tries to give you something that's going to make you think up here. Think about what, what, what happened versus, uh, you know, what was told you, you know, what was told to you. He's on that level, you know what I mean? So I just wanted to drop that... Um, Law, uh, not lost in thought that lyrical breakdown you know what I mean just to uh, not only you know celebrate hip hop but you know kind of keeping in the spirit of the holidays in a little bit of a dark way you know so I hope y'all can appreciate that you know what I mean shout out to Run The Jewels shout out to Killer Mike shout out to LP shout out to hip hop shout out to the culture shout out to Boom Bap you know what I mean shout out to the elements y'all keep hip hop alive man you know what I mean as long as we have groups like them still doing it, you know what I mean, hip-hop will never die, you know what I mean, no matter what happens, so thank y'all for checking me out, uh, this is your man Kurt for Triad Hip Hop Podcast, please spread the word about our channel, we're all over the place, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, <clears throat> Spotify, all of the good stuff, any way you can think of, we are there, and so uh, we thank y'all for checking us out week after week. And, uh, you know, we'll see y'all on the next one. Don't forget we go live on Saturdays, normally around 1230, maybe 1 o'clock at the latest. And, uh, yeah, hit the buttons. Like, share, subscribe. Peace.